How's it going, YouTube? Should we do some more on this bonnet? Hood? Whatever you want to call it. I really need to do an intro or something. This seems to take me forever every time editing this. Oh, I want to give a shout out to Booster G. He was the first one to spot in the description. I've got a little link in there. Anybody that appreciates anything I do, they can buy me a coffee. Cheers, man. This is on you. I've been thinking lately, the name Spider Lee. It's a bit like a Saturday morning cartoon or something, so I'm kind of thinking about changing the channel name. As you can tell by having the name Spider Lee, I'm not very imaginative, so. If any of you guys want to suggest anything, want to help it, comment below with your suggestions, and I'll see if we can think of a new name, because I'm really not sure about this Spider Lee. Let's go and have a look at this bonnet, shall we? I'm calling it a bonnet because I'm in the UK. Okay, so there was one bit I weren't quite happy with, so we're having to do it again, but it's almost ready to paint now. Let's have a look, shall we? Right, here we are. As you can see, this bit here, when I pressed on, on here, it was cracking the filler, so I've ground out a V, and then we filled this with the, the P40 hole filler, which is like a fiberglass-based filler, so that'll be a lot stronger now. The rest of it's all right. I can lean on it and press on it as much as I want, and it's all right. So what I'll do is I'm just waiting for that to go off fully, then we can sand it down, and we'll get it ready for painting, shall we? I've just remembered that in the last video there was a, a few bits I've, I've got I forgot to mention so let's have a look at those shall we? In here I've got some hard race adjustable arms so we can get a bit better position on the wheel. I completely forgot I'd got these actually. I got these from GT4 Play in the UK and up here the guys at Luxury Parts, the, the, the guys that made my body kit very kindly sent me a set of scoops for the side. Let's go and have a quick look, see what they look like, shall we? Now these are specifically made for this kit, the Monocraft kit. You'll notice on this kit, because it's the wide body, the door line comes and then it goes out, so the scoops have to be angled to fit this profile. The, the, the standard one follows, follows the profile back there like that, so you, you, you can see the difference. So these fit in there quite nicely, actually. We'll get those on. I'll show you a photo. I tried them on a bit ago. Uh, I'll show you a photo of what they look like. I'll put that up now. They'll finish off that rear quarter quite nice actually. Let's go and have a look at this bonnet, see if we can get this sanded down. One more thing that I almost forgot, I've got a set of wings up here that I painted for a friend a bit ago. They were fitted with what looks like the BMW Z3 vents. She bought them like this, I've just painted them for a yellow. And you can see they actually look quite smart actually, they're for the standard bodied MR2. Just thought I'd show you guys the sort of modifications you can do. These obviously is a really cheap modification, looks quite smart. Just change the battery on my camera. If this is not an excuse to buy a camper van, I don't know what is. Charging on the go. USB charger off solar panel. Let's finish prepping this, shall we, and get it ready for some paint. Right, that's that bit sanded down. As you can see, we've got a few little holes and bits there so I need to use some P38 fine filler on that I'll get that in I'll get it sanded off I'll get some primer on it see what it looks like I'm gonna put the camera away for now though because it's getting a bit dusty so I'll see you guys when it's done and boom you've got a few more holes that I've got to fill just to tidy it up and I need to get some more prime around this this edge just just where it's a bit discolored just to make sure the paint doesn't soak in i'll finish these little bits off and then we'll get ready for some paint shall we just want to point out to you guys any videos i do i'm not doing a how-to video because i might be wrong what i'm doing if if there's anything i'm i'm wrong what i'm doing write down in the comments how it should be done just in case i'm to be honest i do all this but i don't really know what i'm doing i'm i'm an electrician if it's electrics 
Oh, I'm pretty confident I'm right what I'm doing. Oh, I, sh I should hope so anyway. Just help, help the community out. If anybody's wanting to have a go at anything like this, I'm doing anything wrong, write down in the comments and then at least people know how to do it right, don't they? Just in case. For anyone that's interested, I'm using the Deville Bis GTI Pro Lite. Awesome piece of kit it is. Right, the colour I'm using that we're going to spray the car in is Volkswagen Indium Grey. The same colour as that. Partly because I like the colour and partly because I've got a load left from when I did the Volkswagen. So let's get some paint on this bonnet, shall we? See what it looks like. I'm going to paint it all in one colour for now. And the black stripe down the middle, if I decide I want that, I'll do it uh, with wrap, I think, so I can change my mind later. Okay guys, so here we have it. I've painted it. I need to leave it to dry properly now. Welcome to the new colour. Let's have a look, shall we? there we have it first piece of the puzzle done I'm gonna leave it all one color like that for now I'll think later what to do about it but looking good so if you want to see some more progress on this car don't forget to subscribe like the video if you like what I do and I'll see you guys later cheers okay.